Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a word level method and uh, as well I'll show you uh, how to create new parameter and how to use uh, uh, the master to create create your own world. So first of all let's see uh, why we need a word level method and uh, why we need parameters. Uh, let's choose a template as a template for this tutorial. So uh, in this tutorial what I want to do is uh, I'll first add four bunnies to this template. Okay, now we have four bunny, and we can go to bunnies method. This is uh, as usual the bunnies default method. And what if we want the bunny to jump? Usually, I think what you guys do is basically go to my first method and go to bunny. You drag move up and drag move down okay this makes our bunny jump up, up and down but what if in some what if we uh, finish with this bunny and we want to do something else to bunny 2, bunny 3, bunny 4 and go back we want the bunny jump again then you have to do this move up and move down again if the action is short, like just move up and down, that's a good choice. But what if the action involves a very long sequence of actions? Then using this would be very inefficient. So how do we do that? We can create a method for bunny. Name jump. And by doing that, we just added the jump and make the bunny move up and bunny move down and now we can go back to our world and uh, we can erase this two instead all we need to do is drag bunny jump into our word method and use play. Now I can do a bunch of bunny jump. Instead of using jump up and down, now I only need one command. And that's the benefit of using a method. Here's the effort. What if I want the bunny to jump as well? Jump, uh, bunny to jump as well. Now the bunny jump only includes bunny, and that won't work for our uh, bunny two. Therefore, we what we need is a word class. Let's see. We go to word. We create a new method. We call it uh, bunny jump. And now what we can do is we can add bunny into bunny move up and down into this word class method, word level method. So all we need to do is make the bunny jump and down. And now we have this word bunny dot jump method. What if we uh, want the bunny to jump let's erase this so if I want the bunny 2 to jump there's a, uh, easier, a easier way that's go to bunny word dot jump and I change this bunny to bunny 2 rather than you go back to bunny 2 and create the same bunny jump 
Master, now all we have to do is change the name to Bunny2 and let's see what's gonna happen. So I drag this bunny jump into the uh, word method and I click play. Bunny2 is jumping now. And uh, if I want bunny1 jump, I just change this bunny2 back to the bunny and the bunnies jump now. What if I want bunny1 jump and bunny two jump and bunny three jump and bunny four jump like in a sequence. Then change this won't be enough because uh, whenever we call this bunny jump method, we always have just one bunny jump unless we add bunny jump uh, into this bunny jump uh, uh, method. What we can do here is we can create a new parameter and it should be a object and we call this object bunny j since it's gonna jump and you probably don't want to uh, name it bunny so I have this object called bunny jump and uh, let me remove this first now what we need to do is we move this bunny jump here and I can make it move up 1.2 meter and I can move it down 1.2.2.5 meter and what does do? let's see so in my first method now I want to remove this old method and I want to move this new method in and now it will ask you okay want the bunny jump is fine which bunny you want uh, you want to make it jump. Now I'm saying okay I want bunny one jump and uh, I drag in this two the, the, the second method and I say I want bunny two jump and uh, here I choose the bunny three jump. Now I have a word method, word level method with a parameter I can make this three bunny jump uh, in one sequence without changing the move up and move down method and let's see what's gonna happen now bunny one jump, bunny two jump, bunny three jump you see that's how convenient it is and that's why we should use it instead of dragging all the uh, methods from bunny method alright now the question is what if we want the bunny to jump not just 0.5 meter but uh, a a change in uh, value. What we should do is we create a new parameter and type is number, and we call it height. And now we have two parameter. How do we use the second parameter? What we need to do is simply drag this, replace the point five meter and drag this, replace the 0.5 meter and now let's see what's gonna happen in our, uh, my first method now the height is 1, that's the default value but I can simply change it to 0.25 and I want the second bunny to jump 0.5 and the third bunny to jump 1 now let's see what's gonna happen 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and this bunny is gonna jump 1 and that's how convenient it is alright after we finish this part let's go back to uh, I, after I finish this part you should pretty much uh, learn how to use uh, word level method and also the parameter and why we need word uh, level method again we can just simply change the method uh, under the world in one steps rather than we create all the methods for bunny, bunny2, bunny3, bunny4 again and again and uh, using parameter we can simply just replace uh, who is as acting and how we want acting so uh, let's go back to bunny as we can see we already have this jump method in bunny if we create a new bunny for example bunny2, bunny4 we won't we won't be able to have that 
jump master but for uh, some of our object we just really want it has uh, a default default master that has been created by us so what we can do is here we rename this bunny we call it bunny smart we call it bunny jump or let's call it jump bunny and we right click the save object button we can save this object under Alice required gallery and uh, it should be under animal uh, animals uh, folder and we save it here and now let's open a new world Hmm, let's don't save it. Now I'm open this new world, and the same thing. I want add a bunny. Add bunny here, and if we go to bunny's method, we can see this bunny has no jump method over here, and uh, we can go all the way to our jump bunny here we go we can add our jump bunny into this world and we can see this jump bunny here you go we have this jump method and we can make it jump without creating this jump method again so let's see the jump bunny jump let's play and this one is gonna jump here we go uh, I think this explains pretty much everything will be covered uh, in today's lab and now what I'm going to show you is how today's lab is going to look like so uh, this is the work I've done so uh, you don't have to follow every single steps I made here but you honestly uh, should be making uh, reasonable moves so about today's first exercises, I want you guys to do this uh, snowman exercises. The snowman, uh, the snow people flip hats. So let's see how that works. And play. If you have previous world created, that's fine. If you don't have it, you just create two snowmen and do the flip hats as you just saw and as long as you have to flip pass I'm okay with that so you don't have to be doing uh, the same old thing again if you don't have your work ready and uh, let's see second exercises the second exercises I want you to do is the magic act so let's see this magic. Alright, let's play. So, this stick is the hardest part. You need to make the stick move with your hands. But it does not have to be perfect. And one important thing you need to make the magician face the object before he makes the move uh, of his hand. Because otherwise, if you just stand there, move twice, and two objects flies, uh, that's not very realistic. And I'll play it again to let you see what's gonna happen. So move up, and this guy move up. Okay, face to the bunny. Move up. The bunny moves up. Good. Now let's see the third excesses and uh, this one is a little bit tricky what I want to do is the clever skate uh, clever skater 
and uh, you don't have to do all the functions for this clever scatter because uh, I don't think you have enough time so what you can do is you can go to this record and uh, tutorial world and you can click this ice skater world and here you go does ice skater already have a preview uh, some tribute um, movements which uh, is doing by the system and can skate and can spin the simple spin you don't have to repeat uh, building all this but you have to but you better know how this movement is being created it's pretty long and all you have to accomplish in the third exercise is you need to make this uh, you need to make this skater uh, be able to move around uh, the frog and the penguin as well. And uh, here's you what you have to do. You need to re re rename this ice skater as uh, I did for the bunny, and to save this object into your gallery. And after that, you need to reopen the template world. from uh, this required template tutorial world and once you have this you need to uh, delete this ice skater you just remove all the reference you need to delete this ice skater and add what you saved which is the smart ice skater here you go and you need to add this smart ice skater and do the move around uh, frog thing after this you need to do the force uh, exercises which is the project one for, uh, of this chapter and I would suggest you to do the skater competition all you have to do is add five smart skater do a little bit movements and let three uh, guys give you scores That's, that pretty much explains everything about today's lab and I'll show you uh, how the last two how the last two uh, exercises should look like. So let's go to Ice Skater. And I click play. So this Ice Skater is gonna do a little bit of movements. And it's gonna be moving around this frog. And after that, it's gonna move in around with this penguin okay finish and the last project should look like this ice competition for uh, the ice competition you don't have to have uh, five skater because they pretty much do the same thing uh, all you have to do is have two ice skater and three guys would call uh, numbers whatever number you want and that's pretty much what I'm asking for today so uh